dank, dark, damp, repetitious work, not fitting a woman or a tank or a C-47 or a warship. It got them into the air, thereby helping to end the war early. Now get this, by the end of the war, the U.S. had prisoners. Hitler and the Japanese warlords had fatally underestimated I'm proud to tell you that operating under the free enterprise capitalistic form of government, American industry has overcome half years. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the citizens of America and never from the B-51 on the B-17. Even though the B-17 was known as the Flying Fortress, and you can see the ball turret on the belly, the tail gun, ten guns on board, he called 12 o'clock high came out in 1949 starring Gregory Peck. 12 o'clock high was where the enemy would attack a B-17 from out of the sun at its most vulnerable position, the nose, hence the name, from Belleville, from Detroit, from Ann Arbor, from the UP, from Ohio, from the Rockies, from New York State. Those were on both the B-20 and the B-17s, because of the ground clearance on the B-17, they weren't retracted, but on the B-24, because the belly was so low, to simply 50% of the flying aircraft in the United States and the world today. Ah, uh, and Julie can see, I uh, forgot what country I was in for just a moment. Thank you for coming to Willow Run Airport today for the Thunder Over Michigan Air Show. I just have a quick note to all... The British Light Infantry has no other choice but to surrender. The scout car is outgunned by the American half tracks. anti-tank gun. At this range, everything would be in its uh, deadly force. tank battle with the M5 Stewarts of the 14th Armored Recreative coming in to support the American half tracks and infantry, taking a duel with the back 40 and the Hetzers. With the air support, helps as well. Troopers.
But the British aren't out here alone. They've got armored infantry supporting them, coming up fast. The American infantry are pushing the Germans back hard now. And just armored cars don't like it when they see tanks. So what do they do? They call them the American tanks. the final the final uh, Germans are surrendering here to the Americans and thus completes the cutoff of the fly gap as the two forces link up and they cut off their escape route for most of the tro German troops in Normandy in August of 1944. Let's give everyone a big thanks here as they finish up. Concludes our reenactment of the fly gap trap that the Allies sprung in August of 1944. Let's give the reenactors a big hand. show and we hope you have a great time here at the Thunder Over Michigan Air Show. Thank you so much for coming. We're providing two reenactments each day, a big round of applause for all of our ground reenactors in full battle gear, in the heat, in the dust, in the sand, and from out of the movies. There's some things I want to mention to you about the great men and women, our veterans who went before us, providing us with the freedom we have. And one of them is a message used by a pilot like Chuck Yeager, a P-51, would have wing tanks would be given about 500 gallons of fuel, 8 hours of rain, 2,200 rounds of 50 caliber ammo, for six machine guns, each shooting, 850 rounds per minute. And that P-51 would fight from sea level up to 39,000 feet. There was the difference. P-51, the most versatile aircraft of World War II, used as a fighter, a dive bomber, a bomber escort, photo recon, and a night fighter as well. So they were known as big friends, they being the fighter or escort pilot. Little big friend, that is, was the bomber. Little friend was the 
fighter, the fighters were so much faster than the bombers that in formation, the fighters would do what they call a weave. They would weave back and forth in a zigzag line over the top of their bombers, and then they would stay matched in the sky because the fighters had to cover more territory to get to the same place thereby always over the top of their charges. Okay, look directly out at the tree line on the other side of the field as we get ready to honor our veterans, the men and women in uniform. Those who are here with us and those who are carrying 80 pounds worth of protection, armor, and ammunition off in some hellhole on the other side of the world. I would ask you in preparation of TAPS to join me in standing. And if you can, remove your hats and after that, Sorry. It's okay, I got it. stay silent, out of respect, if you would, for another 30 seconds. Thank you,